Section 1.2, compound interest. Very similar to simple interest. Um, but if you look in your textbook, we see that on page 18, okay, compound interest, it is uh, over here in the column, it tells you what it is, okay? Compound interest is the interest that is earned, or if you're paying off a car loan, it's paid. But if we think about the interest that's earned, it's earned on both the principal and all of the interest that's been accumulated up to this, up to that point. So, if uh, we're going to do a couple examples here, but I want you to see how compound interest works compared to simple interest. So, if you make some interest in the first year, in simple interest, you would go back to the principal and you would calculate the interest on just the original amount. This time, we're going to calculate the interest on both the original and everything that's come after it. So, if we write down a definition for what compound interest is, it's the interest that is earned, or in brackets, paid, if you're paying off something, on both Mr. the principal and the accumulated interest. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do... <clears throat> wow, where'd it go? <coughs> what I'm going to do is... I'm going to uh, make a chart with you. Okay, so I want you to copy down this chart that you see here. Okay, on page 18 it says... Uh, how do you say that? Ewan or Evan? It just depends where you're from. We'll say Evan. Bought a $1,000 simple interest GIC with, with prize money that he made. And Rena bought... A thousand dollar compound interest GIC with her prize money. It also has a five year term and earns 3.6% paid annually. So let's calculate her interest compounded um, yearly. So compound. So the amount is a thousand. Okay, so you put a thousand in there. Now, what's the interest rate for that year? So we've got a thousand bucks. And it's 3.6%. So what's a thousand times 3.6% is 100. on your calculator? Go ahead. If you want, you don't really need your calculator, but you can use your calculator. All right, a thousand dollars times 0.036%. A thousand means you move the decimal place over three times. So what is it? Okay, did you get $36, everyone? Okay, so the interest for that year is 36 bucks. So what does she have at the end of the year? Not 136, no, 1,036. Good, I know what you meant. All right, so uh, that's at the end of year one. So I don't know, we haven't decided what we're gonna do here. Whatever, uh, Let's. we can put that one year one, that's fine. So year two, okay. So the amount that she actually has is $1,036. So now what we're doing is you're taking that amount, 1036 and you're multiplying it by your interest rate. You see, this is how compound interest works. The interest that you make actually makes you more interest. It gets reinvested. And so what's, what's that there? One... 0.036 times 0 0.036 is, ooh, 37.30. 30. 37.30. Now, it doesn't seem like much, but that's, a, uh, that's, that's more interest than we made the year before. It's not much, but it'll start to grow. So 1,036 plus 37 is what? 
a thousand and thirty and thirty is sixty. Six and seven is thirteen. So seventy three thirty. Thousand seventy three thirty. Okay. So we'll continue on with this chart. I want you. I want you to go ahead. I'm going to do it with you, but I want you to complete this chart. We'll see how much is made at the end of the uh, five years. Okay. So you take the amount of money that you have at the beginning and you multiply it by the interest rate in decimal form and that's the amount of interest that you make for that year and you just keep repeating that process this dollar amount right here comes down to the to this spot right here the next year Okay, do these numbers agree with everyone? Put up your hand. You got the same numbers. Yes, as you copy these numbers down. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I got the same numbers as you. Just let me finish copying them down. Then I'll have the same numbers as you. Okay, I meant as you, you know, individually calculate them on your own, but whatever. Okay, so once again, just look at this very carefully once again. You take the dollar amount here and you multiply it by the interest rate to get the interest for the year. And then the amount at the end of the year, and I can separate this out as well, 1,000 here plus your $36 equals your new amount. Okay? So you have the amount plus your interest gives you your total. You didn't get what? You got 44? Okay. Did you get this number? All right, so that is the that's the table, okay, for this question right here, okay? See, Rena, thousand bucks, five-year term, three point six percent paid annually. Okay, you closer. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna compare that with Evan, okay, who bought a thousand dollars simple interest GIC, simple interest. Okay, so let's just make sure that we know what we're doing from previous. So I want you to do a, the same chart, but I want you to do a simple interest chart. Got it? So if we if we do the simple interest one here, okay. So this is our this is our simple interest right here. We always are starting with a thousand bucks. So the first year interest is okay. Second year interest is going to have to change, and so are the other ones. All right, so this is this is simple interest. We just always go back to a thousand, and this is always thirty-six here. The interest for every year is thirty-six. Okay, is this ringing a bell from the first section? Okay, so now for at the end of each year, you have 1,036 and you're adding 36 to that. So that's now 1,072. You see? But this interest right here is always calculated on the principal amount, the original amount. And uh, so that's why we're going to see that this doesn't grow quite as, as fast as the compound interest. Okay, so let's finish this chart as well. So if we compare the two charts, okay, this is, this is the compound interest chart that we're learning about today. Everyone paying attention? Okay, right up here. Okay, so notice the big difference here. Okay, at the end of each year, the money that you have, at the end of the first year, the money is going to be the same for both cases. But the big difference with compound interest is that you start with the new value and you calculate interest based on the new value. Every time that interest is calculated, it's calculated on the principal plus any interest that you got. So it's the new value. So look at even in year two, you see, or yeah, year two, we have 1073 dollars and 30 cents as opposed to 1072 so already after the first year it's growing quite a bit quicker so at the end of five years the change is not that much pardon the pun the change but 
the difference, okay, with compound interest, $1,193.44, and with simple interest, 1180 Okay, so yeah, that's small, but that's on a thousand bucks. You think about ten thousand dollars, or you think about fifty thousand dollars, or whatever the case may be. You're talking thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars difference. All right, so here's a graph um, over here on the right, and this would be an example of. Okay, this this is exactly um, a similar situation. This right here, this simple interest is a linear graph, okay? You're making the same amount of each year in interest. It doesn't change. But with compound interest, the amount of interest you make each year changes a little bit because you're using all of the money that you have in the bank account, not just your principal. And so compound interest always makes you a little bit more uh, money, okay? Need to know, financial institutions pay compound interest on investments at regular equal intervals. If interest is paid annually, it's calculated at the end of the first year and on the principal and then added to the principal. At the end of the second year, the interest is calculated on the balance at the end of the first year. So that's when we use that chart. We always took the balance at the end and put it at the beginning of the next year and calculate our interest from there. So it's the principal plus interest earned from the previous year. This pattern continues every year until the end of the of the investment. 